What's going on, everybody? Thanks for coming to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about a hybrid setup. I know you're asking yourself, what is a hybrid setup? Let's find out. Let's get into it. Let's go. I know what you're probably saying. What is a hybrid setup? Hybrid is basically soft sense with hardware infused together and able to create that hybrid where you have analog and digital combined doing certain tasks in your studio now mine's is minimal i'm just dealing with the hardware of the kai encoders and the soft scent to get some nice textures where you cannot get the same with a mouse now you can also use your faders on your kai but the reason why i don't use it because it's not motorized if you want something motorized check out the fader port i'll leave a link in the video about the fader port i think this is a small gym in the studio to have to ride levels all right so let's get back into the hybrid setup with this all right so with the hybrid setup you're definitely going to have faders encoders so you can have that analog feel today i'm just going to show you how to midi learn a macro inside of studio rack now if you don't have studio rack this is a free free plugin what we're going to do is just assign macros now i'm assigned these six encoders first off select your macro and i'm just going to right click add a macro right that's two i'm going to add this three gonna add this four we're gonna add this five we're gonna add this six all right so the first six macros I'm trying to get this to correspond with the first six encoders of my Akai so now I MIDI learn each from the Helios to the macros in Studio Rack, whether it's Logic right here, Pro Tools, or FL Studio, or the other various DAWs. You gotta have to go into your preference, control, learn assignments. Turn on MIDI Learn, and that's it. All right? So now I'm gonna sign the high gain maybe learn maybe learn turn it off look at your high gain okay so you go through each one step by step let's do one more mid gain maybe learn maybe learn sign a three shake it off there you go let's do one more midi learn four mid frequency midi learn fourth knob and there you go all right another great tip is to assign fader that is going to be used as far as it's going to be a preamp high frequency gain you want to name them so for one it's not named in your control name just gonna put preamp enter send High frequency gain, I'ma name that. Enter. So I'll have all of my control parameters named. Mid frequency, low boost, low cut. Get in the habit of, you know, trying to name them so that way you'll know what it is when you're trying to, you know, activate or deactivate one of your controllers. Okay, let's just say you have an intro or it doesn't matter what part of the section you have. I'm going to just pick the intro and you want to change the bass slope. You want to change the mid frequency. You want to change the high frequency in real time using knobs. You know, I think it's a great, great challenge to fiddle with two or three knobs versus one little stinking mouse. But this is what it sounds like in the initial intro. I'm 
I'm going to be using Encoder 6. It's going to be the base slope. See what kind of effect I can get just to add a little spice. Let's go. Put it in latch mode. Ready to go. And see what I come up with. Let's hear it. So I'm just, you know, saying that you can do anything far as with a hybrid setup. If you have encoders, you have your software, go ahead and map your favorite effect, whatever it is, and have fun with it. That's what it's all about. Make sure you join me next time. You know, we're going to be talking about the uh, NBC, the multi-band compressor from Plugin Alliance. And like I said, I am using this Helios on this Master and Chain, so it sounds phenomenal. Make sure you click the like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Helios is nice. Ooh, man. All right, peace.